Hey guys, Sharpen here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the atmospheres from our brand new sample pack in a song's context. So, in case you missed out on my latest video, uh, I've released a sample pack filled with atmospheres that I've made using a guitar pedal called Avalanchron. Um, these atmospheres sound something like this. And 100% of all of the profits from this sample pack in the following month will go to the World Health Organization's uh, COVID-19 response fund. So if you want, you can get it for only $1. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I've used these very atmospheric sounds inside a full song's context. So I'm going to play you the beat that I've made first of all. So let's start by that. So as you can hear, this demo track is very uh, ambient and future garage-ish in its uh, genre. And now I'm going to break it down for you. So the first thing I did was choose a scale. I chose the A sharp minor scale. And then I just picked a few atmospheres that I liked. So this one is in A sharp minor, and this one is in A minor. So I just pitched it up uh, one semitone to fit in our scale. And then I just chopped up a small verse uh, out of uh, the atmospheres. Let's remove the effects for a second. And as you can hear, it's very dry at certain sections, so I've added some dimension expanding and a lot of reverb. Uh, it's more wet than dry, it's at 3 seconds of a decay time. Uh, the size is all the way up, and there are some low frequencies being cut out so that it doesn't sound too muddy. And altogether you get a way more ambient and in the back sort of atmospheric sound. And then once I had this bass, uh, I've decided to add a bass patch that is um, playing a few notes in the scale. And uh, here they are. And since these atmospheres aren't really changing in the chords too much, um, the bass really helps us define what chord is actually going on at, at that moment. So that's why it's very important to have a strong, noticeable bass. Um, and then I've added the drums. So the drums start fairly simple. There's this kick. And this snare. And then I've added the basic Hyatt pattern of Future Garage. And I've added quite a lot of Foley samples um, from Venus Fury's pack. Uh, you should check it out if you want some sick Foley sounds, they're great. As you can hear, they add quite a lot of character to my drums. And then for the second part, I've decided to switch up the rhythm and make it half time. So here it was really fast and then it's going to be half as fast, sort of. <laughs> And I wanted to accentuate that by adding an open hat uh, to that part. And that is it for the drums. Um, the main thing to notice is that the kick uh, is being sidechained to all the atmospheres and the bass. You can see that the uh, atmospheres and the bass just duck every time the kick hits to allow some more uh, headroom for the kick to sound louder and more in the front of the mix and then I've decided to add some short solo so this one was made from one of the atmospheres this one in particular 
and some of the atmospheres have dry parts that have no reverb at all, like this one. So I just took the intro, this bit, and I looped it. And in case you don't know how to loop in Edison, you go to Tune Loop, and bam, you have a loop. So that's what I did, and I ended up with this short bit. I've pitched it up from A to C because it was in A, the atmosphere, so I wanted it to uh, be in C so I can play it in my keyboard without thinking what node am I playing. I changed the sample start starting position by a bit to have a nicer loop. And then I've added a lot of effects to make it sound um, more like a solo lid. So one more thing that I did is I also made it uh, mono and portamento. So that means that when I switch between notes, it's going to slide in between like that. And I also have some slight release time and sustain all the way. So as for the effects that I've added, I've added quite a lot of effects. Let's start one by one. So I've added some distortion, just a tiny bit. And then I've added some uh, very short reverb, it's on 0.2 seconds, some pre-delay and the mix is at 20% to give it some room. And then I've added uh, a guitar rig preset. I just wanted it to sound like an electric guitar, so I just added a lot of distortion. And then I've added Realm, which is a really nice reverb. It makes it sound very epic. And then I've added uh, the effect track by Sound Toys. Basically, I've just used the EQ to remove a lot of the highs. Since this is an ambient track, we want our lead to be a bit more in the back and not too uh, bright. So after all of that, we've got a really nice lead sound and I've just recorded myself playing it on a MIDI keyboard. And I ended up with this audio file that I've sent to a new mixer track. So alone it would sound like this. Very nice, very sort of electric guitar driven lead. And then I've added some EQ. Um, it's going to basically just cut it off as the song progresses. Since we have more quiet parts here, I want the lows to be out of this sound. And then I've added some replica. Um, it's been mixed in later on when uh, the sound gets a bit more muffled when I cut out the high frequencies. So I'm adding some um, delay that also adds some reverb to create a very ambient sound. And there's a limiter that is being sidechained to our kick as well. Um, so altogether you get this sound for um, the drop or the main part of the song. And all that atmosphere content is, ju content is just from um, the atmospheres here, uh, this solo, and then just bass and kick drum. I have in the back some uh, fire crackling amb ambience. It's very quiet. Um, and then I've used another atmosphere, this one. Let's disable their effects. So this one. Uh, it's very dry on its own, so I've decided to add some dimension expanding and some reverb. Um, and then a bit of tremolator. So what this does is it just chops up uh, the volume in a certain rhythm. So I get a nice rhythmic uh, sort of transition effect to the next beat over the track. And then I've added some uh, phasing and again a limiter that is being sidechained to our kick. So you get this sound. And this sound just transitions to the more quiet bit in our track. And slowly in this quiet bit, I'm reducing the amount of tremolator that is happening. So you get a smoother atmosphere near the end of it. And I'm also increasing the mix on the reverb. So it started at 100% and it goes down all the way to zero. And then as the track progresses, it just builds up back again. So you get a sound that's very controlled here, but as it progresses, it just becomes more and more ambient and then fades out in volume using this volume envelope. 
So as you can hear, we have both this atmosphere and the solo that is being slightly low passed over time. Creating a very nice ambience. And I'm also uh, playing the bass, but I'm using filter jam to sort of reduce uh, its power. So in here it was very powerful. And here it sort of fades in power. It sounds slightly less loud and overall less um, hard hitting as in the drop. So you get a sort of a more calm section that has some cricket sounds. Uh, there's an airplane sound that I use as, as a transition. I've layered it with some reverb so you get some uh, increase in volume and then decrease but the reverb just keeps the fade out a bit longer than it is in the volume auto automation. And then for the second part I've decided to bring the drums back. But I'm low passing them quite a lot to get uh, a weirder sound. So here's how they would sound normally. But in here they're a bit uh, less powerful. And I'm pairing them with a nice 808 that is being um, distorted by a tiny bit and increased mostly on the mids. To get sort of like a nice B section, so you get this part. Just uh, to add some variation, where the 808 doesn't play, I've decided to bring back um, the Reese bass with some pitch bending to make it sound a bit more interesting. And then once this B part ends, there's just uh, the fire crackling atmosphere and the crickets and the main uh, melodic atmosphere just fading out in volume. And that is pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring as to how you can use these atmospheres in your tracks. There are plenty of other ways I suggest you go out and explore all of the different possibilities because there are a lot of them. And if you haven't gotten the pack yet, it's only for one dollar at my bank camp, which I'll link in the description below. So go check it out and if you have the money to pay for it, um, that'd be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!